What's going on guys, Challenge here, and today let's talk about builds. I have a build for you guys. It's not relatively new from what I have posted on this channel, but there could be new players out there. There could be players who are getting back in the swing of Destiny and they're trying to find that build that, you know, maybe they haven't really learned about over the course of this year. Hopefully this video helps you out getting through those 50 ways of onslaught. This will be mainly focused around the regular mode. Uh, there's a few differences in the legendary in terms of like loadout preferences, probably because of how it works there with damage and range and stuff like that. But with that getting pushed to the side, let's talk about the goal of this build. Since this will be a strand banner of war, we want to focus around our melee damage as well as regeneration and, and intertwine that all that effectively. So the main exotic of choice here for me is going to be Syntoseps. However, I will admit Worm God Caress is going to be an incredible option if you guys want to try this out. Now, the differences here are not crazy but more niche depending on how things go. So if you guys want to rock Synthoseps, one thing you will be getting is a bonus in handling and reload speed when you are surrounded. You will also get a 50% increase to your super damage. Now in PVE, your melee damage will be increased when surrounded by 165%. Now recently this did take a nerf, but this buff is still extremely powerful and then when it comes to your melee glaive damage this will be increased by a hundred percent however if you guys are familiar with worm god caress there are similar bonuses mainly to melee damage now it is going to be a escalation with stacks so melee kills will give you grand stacks there's going to be a meter on the left to see very easy to follow but this escalation for your melee damage will be 55 percent to 110 percent to 165 percent this is the median for this this is in the middle this is actually where synthoseps is now worm god caress can extend further into 220 percent and 275 percent when it comes to your melee damage now the glaive melee damage will go from 40% to 80% to 120% to 160% capping out at 200%. And then there is a difference when it comes to weapon damage. So you will get a bonus in weapon damage here for PVE. This will be from 0% to 20% to 25% to 30% all the way up to 35% with max stats. So there are preferences here. There are differences here. Um, my personal reason why we're going with Synthoseps to the Worm God Caress is that we are always going to be surrounded and I don't need to be juggling stacks. Now, for the most part, you won't be doing that if you are using Worm God, but at the same time, the reload speed benefit, the melee benefit, it's just something I feel is a little bit more consistent. And again, it doesn't require escalating stacks to get to a certain window. It's going to be 165 right off the bat. And on top of that, as you guys probably saw with the buffs we mentioned, Worm God Caress, you will not see an increase in your super damage. For Synthoseps, that 50% will make your strand super, in this case, better and output a lot more consistently and honestly make it a pretty viable damage super for the onslaught game mode okay so we did a lot of talking on the exotics and the goals here i think it's fair to jump into game and break down everything we got going with this setup so i think it's fitting to flex the drip a little bit but that's just my personal preference so this is pretty important when it comes to the loadout right now since we're dealing with onslaught uh my exotic of choice in this case will be the wither horde this is good old reliable you shoot it you forget it has auto loading holster built into it. You use your secondary, which in this case is going to be my recluse. You go back and forth. However, if you guys want, you guys can throw on scatter signal, a fusion rifle, a controlled burst. That is a pretty effective, you know, boss DPS, DPS option altogether. And for your exotic, you can probably throw on grand overture. This is the current overcharge buff, but again, this will rotate as the weeks go by. And in this case, we're using circular logic because it is a strand. Want to have some synergy with strand and unraveling rounds and all that good stuff. But as you guys can see here, we're using the recluse in this loadout. Now, a little bit more information on this will go in the God roll video focusing on this. So be sure if, to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when that video drops. Should be pretty soon. But we're using this because of desperate measures. This is a great perk. It's going to be have you know great synergy with the grapple melee plus your regular melee plus just regular kills it is easy to proc it is easy to maintain in a way and if it does go away again you can get the buff back in a small portion but again it's still pretty good if you guys want to use a solar weapon based on the seasonal artifact you know you want to get radiant increase that damage you can throw it on a mini tool you can throw on al bane hand cannon 
whatever your secondary or your energy slot primary could be. Hell, it could even be Sunshot in this case. I don't think your primary synergy with Strand here is going to be, I guess you could say, that much needed because there is a ton of stuff and a lot of your dealing with those hordes will be just swiping them all away with one melee and this is at all difficulties it is easy to crowd control in all ways when it comes to this build so with the loyal out the way again you can flex if you wear the horse scatter signal fusion uh primary choice will be in the energy slot whether that's a solar like uh zal's bane or mini tool or it's in this case recluse yada 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 and if you guys want a solid lmg because i love lmgs in this mode circular logic from the anuma is great the god roll will be envious assassin and vorpal weapon and i do think you can use armor piercing rounds if you get that uh you could probably get range and other stuff but again this is my favorite lmg in the game and is something i have rarely put down now let's jump into the subclass in itself so we can talk about the aspects now everything here is kind of bare bones simple nothing too you know specific uh the main uh grenade will be the grapple melee because that's kind of the only thing you should use when it comes to your aspects you want into the fray so you get woven mail more often and it's very easy to get it helps with your melee regeneration rate with in this case as a titan and also um yeah it's just incredible must have now the other must have will be banner of war now this can stack up to four it did get nerfed in the past but it still is very easy to get and maintain in order to get it you need to get a melee kill or a finishing kill i think sword kills also will proc the banner of war after that kills will continue to escalate the stack you don't need to worry about doing a finisher or melee to increase the stacks only to proc the buff for our fragments, we have Threat of Generation, you know, dealing damage generates grenade energy. This will help us with our grapple grenade. We have Threat of Fury, damaging targets with a tangle, grants melee energy. Again, we're going to be generating tons of tangles because we're just using Strand beyond belief when it comes to our abilities. You get the tangles, you throw on the ground, you hurt some people, give yourself woven mail, get melee energy. It's a great combo. Threat of Warding, picking up an overpower, grants woven mail. This is powerful, and this is kind of a crutch fragment to have here. And then Threat of Continuity, suspend, unravel and sever effects applied to targets have increased duration this is my personal preference uh i will admit that this could be a little bit swapped for something else if you guys want to do that this is definitely open to personal preference but this is something i'm just using because of my super and the severing i like it but overall that is pretty much the subclass now for the mods for one for the helmet uh we're using hands-on is the main one to use uh for your siphon whatever your primary is so if you're going to use solar you could use a solar strand siphon or solar stasis siphon uh, i mean don't use that because i don't know where you fit a stasis weapon that is effective right now for onslaught um i mean there is some but not none in this case for this build uh so we're just having a void siphon because we're using recluse so there's that for our synthoseps we have impact induction heavy handed now specifically your power melees for heavy handed will create orbs of power and then impact induction causing damage with a powerful melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown again very melee focus very crutch and essential uh for this one just have one resistance and reserves i i want them to make the chest mods better but that's an issue for final shape now for our legs we're gonna have in this case i don't know why i have a solar we have a void uh you want your primary weapon of choice and then we have two invigorations up uh, reduces melee cooldown each time you pick an orb of power and then for our mark we have two time dilations and that is pretty much the mods well what we're using for our artifact this is specifically what i've been using nothing crazy here the main one will probably be horde shuttle uh damaging unrival targets with a weapon occasionally spawns threadlings this is fun especially if you're mixing and matching your strand weapon with other stuff it is pretty effective unraveling orbs picking up an orb of power grants strand weapons unraveling rounds and this will also grant you anti-barrier to deal with those champions and onslaught we are using argent ordinance if we did slap on a rocket for whatever reason this is great for i guess increased damage uh overload rocket because again sometimes you get overload i switch to a rocket deal with them but not necessarily the main ones here will be these two for strand based stuff and if you guys are using solar flint striker and kindling trigger are essential to making the most out of your radiant stuff there also is rays of precision while radiant solar precision final blows cause combatants to ignite if you are using a solar primary keep that in mind if you guys are utilizing radiance incandescent all that stuff but yeah that's pretty much the build let's jump out and give you guys my closing thoughts so yeah we did a lot of talking um don't worry uh i should have mentioned this earlier or i always should mention this earlier the dim link is down below for this build for onslaught um 
Wither Horde is an incredible exotic. And again, I do think when it comes to boss DPS, there is nothing too crazy here, like, you know, dealing with dungeon bosses and other stuff where you might want to rock it. I do think you can get a little bit free here. Uh, an LMG is a very reliable one. If for whatever reason you guys want to jump on the Thunderlord boss DPS, that could be another exotic you can use for the loadout. But in this case, Wither Horde, uh, energy primary of your choice. In this case, for me, it'll be Recluse. And then we're using Circular Logic is going to be my, my loadout choice. But again, this is a little bit more flexible to personal preference but overall this is a solid build that's honestly going to make onslaught a joke in certain ways but also incredibly fun because i do think bungie did nail the design aspect of onslaught and i can't wait to see more of it in the future hopefully just don't forget it bungie don't forget onslaught promise me you will continually update onslaught in different ways in different areas of the game but besides that leave your thoughts down below on this video on this build stuff uh yeah i am sorry that this is a long one but at the same time i did enjoy making this and expect a few more builds on titans and i probably will slide into hunters and warlocks depending on how proficient i get i'm still learning the ins and outs of these things and uh it's a work in progress but i admit those other classes are incredible and probably even better than my titan sometimes but that's a different conversation for a different video if you guys enjoyed if you found this video informative be sure to drop this video a like comment down below your thoughts on this build or any changes you would probably do in your own version of this i'd love to have a conversation with you guys down in the comment section so please drop a comment down below and if you guys want more content like this from me whether it's destiny 2 rainbow succeed call of duty whatever you see on the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell to be notified for when i do drop that content but until then that's all i got for this one hope you guys have a good one shannon g here and i'm out